All right, we have here a test craft that I've put together. We have the three um, microwave relay antenna parts. We got the generator, the nuke, and a heat radiator as well. Um, as you can see on this huge one, this extends and we have three options. Relay, transmitter, and receiver. It doesn't matter what size you use for transmitter, but only the two octagonal, is that octagonal? hexagonal um, antennas will work for our transmitting. The little uh, extendable dish, that is a receiver only. You have to use one of the hexagonals for relaying or transmitting. Um, for receiving, it's dependent on the size you're using. I've not had to use the huge one. Not yet, at least. Um, probably once I start using interstellar air or spacecraft, I will need to use this huge one. I'm not entirely sure what the max range is, but I know that uh, the further out you are, the amount of it... Uh, antenna surface area does affect how much power you're receiving. Hopefully this um, explains it a little bit better. We've also got a uh, nice ground power station that we set up and moved into place. Another thing, as you can see, um, the waste heat builds up quite quickly when you're using receivers you will need a method to uh, get rid of that waste seat otherwise shit starts shutting down about 95 percent here we're building the um, new ground power station decided to go with the 3.75 meter stuff this is uh, sped up to times three because the actual video is huge. I wish I could have sped it more. Um, apparently there were some inaccuracies in one of my earlier videos. The waste heat video. As you can see, we got uh, 25 wonderful 3.75 meter reactors. But uh, <laughs> at this point, we've forgotten the transmitter. There we have our transmitter. Now to apply some kind of propulsion. Propulsion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Off the interstellar wiki. Um, the microwave transceiver sets require line of sight either by relay or to the actual transmitter. As you can see there are wheels under this uh, ground power station. We are using those to help move it. This is uh, the initial version. There is another version which uh, is quite a bit better. <laughs> we uh, forgot to swap over to thor thorium before uh, adding all the reactors. 
All right, here we have the final one. As you can see, this thing is heavy. It's got 25 reactors, the three DT Vistas, and plenty of radiators. Now, as I was saying, when you're using a microwave relay system, you have to have line of sight. Uh, for those using remote tech, it makes it easier. <laughs> because if you have your remote tech relays tied into your microwave power relays, if you have line of sight for signal, you have line of sight for power. And as you guys, if you've seen my first video, you know that uh, plasma thrusters are insane when you have this thing hooked to them. Alright. Yeah, we're just moving this uh, well out of loading range of the... Um, Flight, flight path for when you're coming in on the runway or launching. Alright. Trying to... Okay. Um... In my second video, I went over waste heat. It's got quite a bit more than what I originally explained. I explained it in the dummies version so that anyone could have figured it out. Unupgraded, the uh, electric generators have a maximum efficiency of 31%. In my current setups, that equal out to about 30%. Um, when you upgrade them, which I have because I'm playing in sandbox for these tutorials, they go up to 60%, and most of my reactors sit around 58.9, 59 something. I was hoping I could find the formula, but no, no luck right now. Found the formula. There we go. How much sense that actually made to you? It's depending on how good you are at math. For me, I just ignore it. I can fully understand it, but <laughs> I refuse to. If it doesn't have enough reds, it can die. That's for electrical generators though. The thermal rockets and thermal turbojets. Those pretty much just toss the uh, waste heat out the ass end of the uh, craft. So you, you don't need to worry about the um, waste heat build up as much when you're running though. If you aren't actively running them, you might run into issues. That said, it's also useful when you're running those to uh, ensure you do have enough radiators. Vista engines make uh, some interesting sounds.
this uh, was supposed to end up being two videos, but I managed to uh, put them together as one. Mostly because I couldn't find enough stuff <laughs> to fill up uh, two videos to work. Um, it was brought to my attention that because I'm doing this in sandbox, everything is advanced. So once this, the tutorials are done and I've explained as much as I can, I will be doing a uh, normal video or normal video series with tech tree and career and uh, well we'll see how well it works. In the meantime, it's at our new ground power station and we just added over a hundred gigawatts more. Alright, thank you.